Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy. Now today we're going to take another look at Microsoft Project and more specifically what we're going to look at is how we can colour code resources and the tasks that specific resources are working on. So in order to do this, first of all, what we need to do in Microsoft Project is we need to set some filters so we can actually select the resources that we're talking about in the first instance. So here we go. Go to filter and let's say new filter. And what we're now going to do is we're going to call this one bill. And just down here what we're going to do is we're going to say the resource name equals bill. Okay, now we just do save. And then let's do another one for Joe and another one for Fred. So you see how Bill is there now. So we say another new filter. Joe. So resource name equals Joe. And another one for Fred. Resource names equals Fred. Now we've done that, we've actually set some filters here. We're ready to start a macro and the macro will actually automate this for us. So we click on the macro here and we're going to call it colors. And I'm just going to call it the resource colors. So there we go. It's always a good idea to put in a description and actually describe what your macro is actually doing. Otherwise it can be a bit awkward to understand what, it's, what it is. Um, there we go. So we're recording the macro now. The first thing we do is we apply one of these filters. So I'll just do them in the order they're in. And I'm going to go to the task ribbon and just give it a color. So let's just choose the red, amber, greens. Um, before I actually apply it, I need to select what I want to color. So select all and click on that color. You'll notice how it only selects or colors the cells that actually have something in them. It doesn't color all the rest of the cells. And if I now go back to view, change the filter to Fred, select all, task, Choose a different color. Go back to the view. Change the filter to Joe. Again, select all, task, and let's make him green. Okay, so now if I go back to view and no filter, you'll see they're all individually color coded. So that's the point, having selected all again, that's the point at which I want to stop running my macro. So I stop the macro there. And now just to show that macro actually working, let's just select all and set them to no color. And now let's run the macro. Now the easy way to run the macro is from the view ribbon, macros, there it is called colors, I just say run, and it color codes them all for me. And even if I were to add in some extra tasks there, again if I run the macro, it color codes even with the new ones I've added in. And that's exactly what we want. There's one extra thing that we should do, and that's to actually add the macro onto the Quick Access Toolbar at the top here. So I click on the drop down on the right, go to More Commands, and from this drop down I just choose Macros. I'm going to choose Colors, Add, and I'm also going to modify it and just choose that little icon there, which is a load of separate colors and OK. And now once again, if I set them all back to white, I can just click on that button to color code by resource. OK, I hope that's been useful. I'm the Adobe Guy, and thank you for listening.